So hi everyone and welcome back once again to the session of PIB Current Affairs where we are going to discuss some more questions from the PIB news which are relevant for all the government exams. Alright, so let's begin with the session without any delay. But before we begin, if you are coming here for the first time, do subscribe to the channel and press this bell icon. You can also join this telegram group. Here you can ask your questions and you will get the PDF of this session after the session is completed. And you can also ask your doubts here. And its link you can find in the description. You can also follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram ID. And here also you can ask anything related to examinations. Alright, so let's talk about the very first question. And guys, in today's sessions, the news are uh, not so much lengthy. Uh, we have to go, we have to discuss these news in brief. Okay? We do not have to go into the details. In today's session, the news is not in detail. This is the case with all the news today. Alright. So with which of the following international organizations, National Institute of Urban Affairs has signed an MOU to collaborate on Sustainable Cities India program. So this is a program which is known as Sustainable Cities India program. For this, NIUA has signed an MOU with, a, with an international organization. So the question is regarding that. Remember, this international organization is World Economic Forum WEF, which is headquartered in Colony, which is in Switzerland. Okay, Switzerland mein hai. And remember the MOU, what is the objective of this MOU? This is for collaboration on a jointly designed sustainable cities India program. Now remember this word jointly designed because this sustainable cities India program is a brainchild of both these organizations that is World Economic Forum and NIUA. And this program remember it is aimed at creating an enabling environment for cities to generate decarbonizing solution. ठीक है हमारे देश में जो डीकार्बोनाइजेशन सॉल्यूशन है उसको जनरेट करने के लिए जनरेट uh, करना दैट इज द एम ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्राम एंड दिस विल बी डन इन वेरियस सेक्टर्स लाइक एनर्जी ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एनवायरमेंट सेक्टर्स राइट सो अगेन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर न्यूज़ वी डू नॉट हैव टू गो इनटू मच डिटेल दैट व्हाट दे आर गोइंग टू डू अंडर दिस एमओयू दैट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द एग्जामिनेशंस राइट सो देयरफॉर द करेक्ट आंसर इज व्हाट ऑप्शन सी वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फोरम टॉकिंग अबाउट एनआईयूए सो रिमेंबर इट इज हेडक्वार्टर इन न्यू दिल्ली एंड इट इज अ think tank it is one of the premier think tank of the government of india uh, for the sustainable cities all right now let's talk about the question number 2 with which of the following industry bodies ministry of chemical and fertilizers which is headed by mr mansukh mandavia who is also the minister of health and family welfare in association with central institute of petrochemicals engineering technology which in short is cipet okay has organized a seminar industry connect 2022 so with which of the following industry body it has been done now again this is a seminar we do not have to go into the detail just remember the name of the seminar and which organizations which ministry has organized this all right so ministry is the ministry of chemical and fertilizers in collaboration with cipet and fikki in collaboration with cipet and fikki this has been organized so option c is the correct answer guys to this question and remember the objective of this seminar was to you know basically determine the skill gap analysis skill gap analysis in the sector and to reduce that gap and also to focus on the research and development uh, thing in this particular sector in the sector of chemical and fertilizers all right so option c fikki is ka sahi jawab hai now moving ahead to question number 3 for smooth implementation one second guys Yes. All right. So for smooth implementation of which scheme, Ministry of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj has launched an Ombudsperson app. Okay, an Ombudsperson app launched here, and we all know what is the objective of an Ombudsperson app uh, to, uh, to you know address to redress the grievances raised by the people. Okay. So through this app, the grievances raised by the people will be solved immediately through this app. All right. And Ministry of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj is headed by Mr. Giriraj Singh. His Lok Sabha constituency is Begu Sarai. And remember, this has been launched for MG Narega. Option A is the correct answer. Now, this is an Ombudsperson app, and the objective is clear. It, uh, through this app, the Ombudsperson will redress the grievances of the people in uh, for smooth implementation of MG Narega. So we do not have to go into the details of this particular news. That is not required. Okay, if you are telling someone that you should do this, that should be done. ऐसा कर लो वैसा कर लो सो दैट इज नॉट द स्मार्ट वे टू स्टडी फॉर अ कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन द आइडिया बिहाइंड प्रिपरेशन ऑफ कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन इज नॉट टू यू नो 
secure the maximum marks theek hai that is that should not be the objective the objective the idea behind preparation is to just clear the examination all right and get the job that is it not nothing more than that so we have to do smart studies theek hai kyunki sabke paas limited time hota hai us limited time mein how we should uh, we should uh, you know prepare and how we should cover the syllabus of the examination that is uh, the most important part all right and so for, and for that of course we have to do the smart studies गधे वाली मेहनत मत करो देखो इस दुनिया में सबसे ज्यादा मेहनत गधा करता है बट तब भी वो गधा ही कहलाता है राइट सो प्लीज डोंट डू दैट नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर अंडर व्हिच इनिशिएटिव मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस हेडेड बाय मिस्टर राजनाथ सिंह एंड हिज लोकसभा कंस्टिट्यूएंसी इज लखनऊ राइट हैज साइंड एन एमओयू विद सीएससी ई गवर्नेंस सर्विसेज लिमिटेड व्हिच इज व्हिच वर्क्स अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड आईटी टू ऑनबोर्ड द पेंशन सर्विसेज पेंशन सर्विसेज को ऑनबोर्ड करने के लिए ये एमओयू साइन हुआ है and ministry of defense has signed this mou all right so we all know related to pension there is only one scheme which is being implemented by the ministry of defense and it was uh, very recently launched the name of the scheme is what sparsh sparsh and sparsh stands for system for pension administration raksha system for pension administration raksha is the full form of sparsh do remember the full form also that is also important now question number 5 Which ministry or ministries has launched Bhasha Certificate Selfie Campaign to encourage cultural diversity and promote multilingualism? थोड़ी spelling यहाँ पे गलत होगी. I'll make the correction. Multilingualism. ठीक है. Multilingualism को promote करने के लिए और cultural diversity को promote करने के लिए कौन सी ministry ने Bhasha Certificate Selfie Campaign को launch किया है? Alright, that is the question. Remember, this has been launched by Ministry of Education, which is headed by Mr. Dharmendra Pradhan. So this ministry has launched this campaign, Bhasha Certificate Selfie Campaign. Now, what is the objective? So, objective I think is already clear from the question that is to encourage cultural diversity and promote multilingualism and to foster the spirit of Ek Bharat, Shreesh Bharat in the country. Basically, the campaign uh, is intended towards promoting the Bhasha Sangam mobile app. जो Bhasha Sangam mobile app है उसको promote करना is the basic objective of this particular campaign. and using the app people can learn 100 plus sentences of daily use in all the 22 scheduled languages of india so as you all know in the 8th schedule of the constitution of india there are 22 languages which are known as the scheduled languages all right so therefore the ministry of education is the correct answer option a now let's talk about the question number 6 which is the last question for today which banks msme credit card has been launched by ministry of msme to provide simplified payment mechanism now can you tell me who is the minister of msme write down in the comments please who is the minister of msme so which bank's uh, msme credit card has been launched by this ministry so remember it is union bank of india union bank of india and it was launched in sindhu durg now this has been launched for providing a simplified payment mechanism to msmes so that they can meet their business related operational expenses jo bhi unka बिजनेस रिलेटेड ऑपरेशनल एक्सपेंसेस है वो अच्छे से वो पूरा कर सकें फॉर दैट सिंप्लीफाइड पेमेंट मैकेनिज्म रिक्वायर्ड इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड दैट्स व्हाई दिस एमएसएमई रुपे क्रेडिट कार्ड हैज बीन लॉन्च्ड दिस कार्ड इज बीइंग ऑफर्ड बाय द यूनियन बैंक ऑफ इंडिया इन एसोसिएशन विद एनपीसीआई एंड द कार्ड ऑफर्स बेनिफिट्स लाइक डिजिटल पेमेंट्स इंटरेस्ट फ्री पीरियड एंड विल कैरी इंटरेस्ट रेट सिमिलर टू द रेट चार्ज फॉर लोन्स ऑलराइट so therefore the option b union bank of india is the correct answer and ceo is mr rajkiran rai ji rajkiran rai ji is the ceo of union bank of india option b is the correct answer so guys that's it for the session today as i already told you that in today's session the news are we do not have to go into the details of these news because that is not required for the exam mai fir se kahunga ki gadhe wali mehnat mat karo do the smart studies and as you all know that rbi's exam is approaching so now please Uh, gear up yourself and uh, please focus on your preparation please do not fall into the trap of uh, speculation of the notifi- notification date and the examination date because dekho kya hai ki we all know that notification is definitely going to come all right so then why are we waiting for the notification all right so generally as a tendency hota hai ki notification aayega tab padhenge so as a tendency wale students ka exam clear karna is very much difficult because we all know the syllabus is too much huge and uh, in that uh, short time we cannot prepare completely for rbi grade b examinations all right so theek hai milte hain next session mein thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next session on wednesday goodbye take care and god bless